Divine truths frequently ask questions. Jesus, Mary and others provide answers to questions that are frequently asked by members of the media and the public. What will a child born through a pure soulmate relationship look and act like? I have no idea. And, and in fact, nobody has any idea. We can only postulate as to what it might look and act, feel like because the reality is there has never been on this planet any single parents in that condition where they're in a soul union condition and at one with God. And as a result of that, there has been never been historically any example here on earth as a child born into that union. Does that make sense? Yep. Now, in the future, there may be a child born into those kind of unions, right? And then you'll see what a child looks like yep. in reality. So in answering this question, all we can do really is postulate, you know, come up with theoretical mm -hmm. answers as to what, what you might expect it to look like. But my suggestion is that uh, usually when you do that, you're usually wrong anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's not much point to the whole discussion. Obviously, such parents would be completely free from any emotional injury. Obviously, they would also have imbibed huge amounts of God's truth. They would obviously also be living their entire life in harmony with God's laws. And, and as a result of all of those things, you can see that there would obviously be a huge positive effect on yeah. any child that they brought, that they attracted to themselves, child of God, that they attracted to themselves by creating the spiritual and physical bodies of that child. There would be huge be benefits physically, Emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, and from a love perspective on the child. Yeah. But in terms of listing them all, all we'd be doing is theorising yeah. without yeah. demonstrating it in practice. Um, what I would like to do at some point in the future is demonstrate it in practice. So that's, you know, once myself and Mary become at one with God and, and in that union condition, then we might consider having some children um, so that we can also demonstrate what it's like for that child in that condition. That would be something to see. It would be something to see. But every parent has the ability to put, have themselves in that condition yeah. so that they could experience it for themselves too, you know. Yeah. But it would be, imagine, uh, it's almost unimaginable a world where all the parents on the planet were in that condition and then all the children coming into the world. They, they would never know pain. They would never mm. know suffering. They would, they would only know love. They would, they would only feel the joy, the joys of expansion. They would never be punished for their mistakes. They, you know, there, there's so many. You can see there's so, there, yeah. there'd be so many advantages for those children. You can see at a very, very long, young age as they might leave home. Yeah. You know, they might be six or seven years of age and leave home. Yeah, you know, see them after you. Know, I don't need you guys anymore. You're like, oh, I'm totally self-sufficient here. I'm, I'm at one with God, you know, and I don't know who my soulmate is and... I can create abundance in my life, you know. Who, who, needs, a, who needs a parent <laughs> on earth after that, you know. You, you say, you, you know, you, you, we'll be living in a totally different world under those yeah. circumstances than we're currently yeah. living in. And a parent at one with God would just go, yep. You yeah, beauty, it. go yeah, for it. Yeah, great. yeah. no fear whatsoever about how the child will be harmed because they know the child is under complete, because the child is in harmony with all the laws of God, the child's in complete harmony with everything of its yeah. existence. That, and also, more importantly, those two parents, those parents of the bodies, yeah. I should say, will, will know more than anything else that this is a child of God. And because this child is now at one with God, it doesn't need mm. the people who created their bodies anymore. Mm. It doesn't yeah. need them at all. And you might retain a relationship with them because you love them, but you wouldn't need to have the relationship with them yeah. anymore. And it wouldn't matter what age they were. You'd be happy to see them go on their way and do whatever they wanted to achieve in their life, expressing their personality and nature in the most powerful possible way that they could. You'd only rejoice at such a thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, so there'd be huge benefits to the parents and the child and, and, and society generally because these children would be completely at one with God by the time their intellect had developed. So imagine that seven years of age, you know, or even younger, because we don't know how fast the intellect will develop when a person's, yeah. when parents are at one with God. So, you know, even that might change. There might only be two and they have a fully developed intellect. We don't know <laughs> because, it, because it's hard to imagine what kind of emotional damage we're imposing upon our child, children now 
and what effect it's having on their development and what's, yeah. what effect it's having on their physical, intellectual, emotional and other developments that they could make, the sensory developments that they could have. We don't know how rapidly these particular things could develop if everything was in a perfect situation. Yeah. Right. So this is why yeah. I'm saying it's a far bigger question than what most people would imagine if, when they first ask it. Because because just the changing of the soul condition of the parents and the, therefore the changing of the soul condition of the child when it enters the world causes a completely different start to be given to the child. Yeah. And we don't know what the effects of that will be because it's never been realised on this planet. Never. Even the very first human couple weren't in that condition. So it's never been mm. realised on this planet, that kind of condition. So all we can do is wait until somebody gets into that condition and watch what happens when they have a child and see what it turns out like. <laughs> watch, the, watch this space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay.